I love cars. The communication between myself and the car is always very natural. Nothing to hide. Being the car gives me the energy. I feel myself. And that's why I like it. With an automotive revolution that is ready to shake every electric vehicle industry, Toyota's CEO has unveiled a mind-blowing power-packed engine that is set to disrupt EV industry. As the entire globe races toward electrification, could this innovation be commercialized in 2026? And how competitive is its technicality? Or probably, this is just a false claim on the robustness of this car. Join us as we look at Toyota CEO. Our new engine is the end of the entire EV industry. Before we take a look at the recent shocking revelations, we need to understand some context about Toyota's CEO. Toyota's CEO and the beginning of his early career. In the earliest days, Toyota's foray into engine development was characterized by engines that were simple yet damn effective at that time. Who would have believed such a simple engine could outsmart other competitive robust engines in the present day? Its evolution is truly remarkable shaking every car industry from slumber. Did you know that during World War II, Toyota primarily manufactured standard-sized trucks almost exclusively for the Army? After the war, Toyota began to diversify and refine its engine technology. Now we know that Toyota had already initially laid a foundation for its future in automotive engineering. How then can any car outsmart its present complex and effective designs? But then, who is Toyota's CEO? And how did Toyota get branded? Continue watching to find out more. Toyota is the great-grandson of the Toyota Automatic Loom Works founder, Sakichi Toyota, and grandson of Toyota Motor Corporation founder, Kichiro Toyota. He was born on May 3, 1956, in Nagoya, to Shoichiro Toyota and Hiroko, popularly known as Nei Mitsui. Toyota completed his undergraduate degree in law at Keio University and was awarded his Master's of Finance at Babson College, Massachusetts. In January 2009, it was announced that Toyota was chosen as the forthcoming president of the company. On June 23, 2009, he was confirmed as the new president, along with four new executive vice presidents and eight new board members. The previous president and CEO Katsuaki Watanabe became vice chairman, replacing Katsuhiro Nakagawa. In 2012, he was named Autocar's Man of the Year. Toyota's Mega Branding In 1936, Toyota entered the passenger car market with its Model AA and held a competition to establish a new logo emphasizing speed for its new product line. After receiving 27,000 entries, one was selected which additionally resulted in a change of its moniker to Toyota from the family name Toyota, which means rice paddy. The new name was believed to sound better, and its eight-stroke count in the Japanese language was associated with wealth and good fortune. The original logo was a heavily stylized version of the katakana characters for Toyota. As the company started to expand internationally in the late 1950s, the Katakana character logo was supplemented by various word marks with the English form of the company name in all capital letters, Toyota. Toyota introduced a worldwide logo in October 1989 to commemorate the 50th year of the company and to differentiate it from the newly released luxury Lexus brand. The logo consists of three ovals that combine to form the letter T, which stands for Toyota. Toyota says that the overlapping of the two perpendicular ovals inside the larger oval represents the mutually beneficial relationship and trust between the customer and the company, while the larger oval surrounding both of these inner ovals represents the global expansion of Toyota's technology and unlimited potential for the future. The new logo started appearing on all printed material, advertisements, dealer signage, and most vehicles in 1990. The Toyota Way is a set of principles and behaviors that underlie the company's approach to management and production, which is further defined as the Toyota production system. Toyota still uses the Katakana character logo as its corporate emblem in Japan, including on the headquarters building, and some special edition models still use the Toyota wordmark on the grille as a nod to the company's heritage. On July 15, 2015, the company was delegated its own generic top-level domain. The company has been developing its corporate philosophy since 1948 and passing it on as implicit knowledge to new employees, 
But as the company expanded globally, leaders officially identified and defined the Toyota way in 2001. Toyota summarized it under two main pillars, continuous improvement and respect for people. Under the continuous improvement pillar are three principles, challenge, which forms a long-term vision, Kaizen, which forms a continual improvement process, and Genchi Genbutsu, which means go and see the process to make correct decisions. Under the respect for people pillar are two principles, respect and teamwork. In 2004, Dr. Jeffrey Liker, a University of Michigan professor of industrial engineering, published The Toyota Way. In his book, Liker calls The Toyota Way, a system designed to provide the tools for people to continually improve their work. According to Liker, there are 14 principles of the Toyota Way that can be organized into four themes which include the long-term philosophy, the right process will produce the right results, add value to the organization by developing your people, and lastly, continuously solving root problems drives organizational learning. The Massive Production of Toyota's System the Toyota Way helped to further shape the company's approach to production, where it was an early pioneer of what would become known as lean manufacturing. The company defines the Toyota production system under two main pillars, Just in Time and Jidoka. The origin of the Toyota production system is in dispute, with three stories of its origin which are, the first story is that during a 1950 trip to train with the Ford Motor Company, company executives also studied the just-in-time distribution system of the grocery store company. The second story is that they followed the writings of W. Edwards Deming. And the third story is that they learned the principles from a W-2 U.S. government training program. After developing the Toyota production system in its own facilities, the company began teaching the system to its parts suppliers in the 1990s. Other companies were interested in the instruction, and Toyota later started offering training sessions. The company also has donated the training to non-profit groups to increase their efficiency and thus ability to serve people. Why was hydrogen integrated in the development of Toyota cars? The crux of Toyota's innovation lies in the use of hydrogen as a fuel for combustion engines. Unlike hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles like the Toyota Mirai, which generate electricity through a chemical reaction, HICs burn hydrogen directly in a manner akin to gasoline engines. This direct combustion method has a unique advantage, which is its production of almost zero CO2 emissions. The only significant byproducts are trace amounts of engine oil burned during driving, and some nitrogen oxides due to the intake of oxygen from the air. However, these emissions are considerably lower compared to traditional internal combustion engines. If you ever considered the performance capabilities of an engine running on hydrogen, then you should also know that it's because of its robust engine's design. Toyota modified its 1.6-liter turbocharged three-cylinder engine, commonly found in models like the GR Yaris and GR Corolla, to accommodate hydrogen fuel. This included the integration of a robust fuel tank for high-pressure hydrogen storage and a re-engineered fuel supply and injection system. Interestingly, hydrogen combustion occurs faster than petrol, offering the potential for a highly responsive engine, a trait particularly beneficial in motorsport applications. Toyota has been proactive in testing and refining this technology in the demanding environment of motorsports. The Corolla Sport race car, equipped with a hydrogen-powered G16 eGTS race engine, has demonstrated impressive performance metrics. This rapid combustion rate of hydrogen provides a more responsive race engine experience, proving that hydrogen can be a viable alternative fuel source for high-performance applications. Currently, the hydrogen markets in Europe, China, and North America will be the world's largest by 2030. The fuel cell market is also expected to expand rapidly towards that point, reaching the value of 5 trillion yen, approximately 5.7 billion pounds per year. The Toyota company is currently promoting external sales of fuel cells using the Mirai's hydrogen units, and they are set to receive whooping offers of 100,000 unit sales by 2030, most of which would be for commercial vehicles. To respond to the rapid changes in the market, Toyota's CEO claims that he and his team will establish a new organization, the Hydrogen Factory, in July this year, 2024. 
This will be able to make immediate decisions under one leader, from sales to development and production, all at once. The hydrogen factory is also set to promote business on three axes. The first is the localization of R&D and production in countries within the major world markets. The company is also set to accelerate the efforts of the team by establishing local bases, mainly in Europe and China. The second is the strengthening of alliances with leading partners. Toyota's CEO further claims that he and his team are determined to deliver affordable fuel cells to their customers by consolidating sufficient quantities through alliances. The third action plan on their budget is Toyota's competitiveness and technology. The company is set to work on the innovative evolution of competitive next-generation FC technologies, such as cell technologies and FC systems. Toyota Company is also set to work towards full-scale commercialization as they move forward with these initiatives. The next-generation system, according to the company, will achieve a 37% cost reduction through technological progress, volume efficiency, and localization. Furthermore, in collaboration with partners, the company claims that if they receive an offer for 200,000 units in 2030, they will be able to reduce cost by 50%, and generate a solid profit while meeting the expectations of their customers and governments. According to Toyota's CEO, the price of hydrogen will continue to shoot up. To promote the widespread use of hydrogen, Toyota Company claims that they will continue to work with its partners to contribute to the production, transportation, and usage of hydrogen. Toyota positions hydrogen as an important fuel in its efforts to reduce CO2 emissions and achieve the aim of carbon neutrality. To help create a hydrogen society by promoting the use of hydrogen, it is working with industry partners in areas of hydrogen production, transportation, and usage. It is also developing and demonstrating fuel cell electric vehicles, FCEVs, including passenger cars, commercial trucks and buses, FC stationary generators, and vehicles using hydrogen combustion engines. Toyota is developing innovative next-generation fuel cells that will deliver industry-leading performance for commercial use with long life, low cost, and low fuel consumption. It aims for these to be commercialized in 2026. It is pursuing easier maintenance requirements compared to diesel engine vehicles and reducing the cost of a fuel cell stack by half compared to current models. It also expects to improve the cruising range by 20% compared to today's system. This multifaceted approach underlines Toyota's belief in the potential of hydrogen as a key element in the transition to a carbon-neutral society. So, by combining the familiarity of traditional engine designs with the environmental benefits of hydrogen, Toyota is not just challenging the current EV-centric narrative, but is also redefining what sustainable transportation can look like. Environmental Benefits of the Hydrogen Present in Toyota Cars Firstly, what makes hydrogen engines stand out in terms of environmental impact is their emission profile. Unlike traditional gasoline engines, which emit a significant amount of carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas from Toyota's hydrogen engines contributes to global warming, thereby producing zero CO2 emissions during operation. The primary emission from these engines is water vapor, making them an incredibly clean alternative in terms of greenhouse gas emissions. The combustion process of hydrogen engines makes it possible to have an engine with such minimal environmental impact. When hydrogen fuel is burned in these engines, it reacts with oxygen from the air to produce energy, with water vapor being the only byproduct. This process starkly contrasts with the combustion of fossil fuels, where carbon in the fuel combines with oxygen to produce CO2. The elimination of CO2 emissions from the tailpipe is a significant step towards reducing the automotive industry's environmental footprint. HEVs, which combine a gasoline engine with an electric motor, and PHEVs, which can be plugged in to charge their batteries, offer improved fuel efficiency and reduced emissions compared to conventional gasoline vehicles. This activity within the engines offers improved efficiency and reduced emissions compared to conventional gasoline vehicles. However, they still rely on gasoline and therefore produce CO2 emissions during operation, albeit at lower levels than traditional vehicles. In contrast, hydrogen engines offer the potential for true zero-emission driving, as long as the hydrogen fuel is sourced sustainably. Another environmental aspect to consider 
is the life cycle emissions of these vehicles. While HEVs and PHEVs have batteries that require rare earth elements and often involve energy-intensive manufacturing processes, hydrogen engines avoid these challenges. The production of hydrogen fuel, especially when derived from renewable sources like wind or solar power, can be less environmentally taxing than battery production, offering a more sustainable overall life cycle. The efficiency of a hydrogen combustion engine can be similar to that of a traditional combustion engine and in some cases, slightly higher. This is particularly relevant in heavy-duty applications, where the efficiency of hydrogen engines can match that of hydrogen fuel cells. The fuel cell, which has a high efficiency peak at low loads, tends to drop in efficiency at high loads. In contrast, hydrogen combustion engines have a peak at high loads, making them suitable for applications where high performance is required. As the world grapples with the challenges of climate change and resource depletion, technologies like Toyota's hydrogen engines offer a ray of hope, promising cleaner, greener transportation without compromising on performance or practicality. User Experience Performance of Toyota Cars Hydrogen-powered engines match the performance of gasoline because it behaves like a fuel. When hydrogen combusts, it does so at a rate significantly faster than gasoline. This rapid combustion translates into a potential for high responsiveness, a crucial factor in performance driving. In a conventional ICE vehicle, drivers are accustomed to a certain level of performance, an immediate throttle response, a certain growl from the engine, and a feeling of power at their fingertips. The intriguing aspect of Hychevs is their ability to mimic these characteristics. Despite using a clean fuel source, drivers of Toyota's hydrogen-powered vehicles can still experience the familiar sensations of driving a conventional car. This includes the sound of the engine, which, for many automobile enthusiasts, is an integral part of the driving experience. However, Toyota has put this to the test in the demanding world of motorsports. By fielding a hydrogen-powered vehicle in a racing series, Toyota has not only demonstrated the robustness of its technology, but also its potential for high-performance applications. In these high-stress, high-demand environments, Hytevs have shown that they can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with traditional racing cars, offering comparable speed, agility, and endurance. Toyota's foray into heist technology has shown promising results in this regard. By modifying existing engine designs to accommodate hydrogen fuel, Toyota has managed to achieve power outputs that are on par with, and in some instances, surpass conventional petrol engines. This achievement is a technical milestone for the potential of hydrogen as a viable alternative fuel for high-performance vehicles. Drivers of Toyota's hydrogen-powered vehicles report a driving experience that is both familiar and exhilarating, combining traditional ICE vehicle dynamics with the novelty of using a clean, sustainable fuel source. By offering vehicles that retain the performance characteristics of conventional ICE vehicles, Toyota is bridging the gap between the present and the future of automotive technology. Whether it's the daily commute or the adrenaline rush of the racetrack, Heischev's promise to deliver the performance, sensation, and enjoyment that drivers have grown to love about traditional cars while simultaneously ushering in a new era of environmentally conscious motoring. Challenges and potential of hydrogen engines in Toyota cars. As Toyota pioneers the development of hydrogen engines, it ventures into uncharted territory, facing a host of challenges while also unlocking immense potential. The first major challenge for hydrogen engines is infrastructure. Currently, the infrastructure for hydrogen fueling is limited, especially when compared to the well-established networks for gasoline and electric vehicle charging. Hydrogen requires specialized storage and distribution systems due to its high flammability and low density. Developing a widespread and accessible hydrogen refueling network is a daunting task, involving significant investment and coordination. However, the potential payoff is immense, a clean, efficient fueling system that could dramatically reduce our reliance on fossil fuels. Another critical challenge is safety. Hydrogen's high flammability makes it a risky fuel to handle. Toyota has been developing robust containment systems for hydrogen fuel, along with advanced sensor technologies to detect leaks and prevent accidents. However, ensuring public safety extends beyond the vehicles themselves. It involves educating consumers and first responders about handling hydrogen safely, a task that requires time and effort. 
Despite these challenges, the potential of hydrogen engines to revolutionize the automotive industry is undeniable. In a world grappling with climate change and pollution, this is a significant step towards a cleaner, more sustainable future. Moreover, hydrogen engines can potentially provide a driving experience comparable to traditional internal combustion engines, offering high performance without the environmental guilt. This aspect is crucial in maintaining consumer interest and acceptance, especially among those who are hesitant to switch to electric vehicles due to concerns about range and performance. The exceptional technicality of Toyota engines. The one. 6L3 cylinder turbo engine used in the Corolla Cross hydrogen prototype is one of Toyota's standout achievements in this field. At the heart of this engine lies a blend of traditional design and pioneering technology. The 1 6L3 cylinder turbo engine is a marvel of engineering. It is based on the same platform as the engine found in the GR Yaris, a vehicle known for its performance and agility. However, the adaptation to hydrogen fuel required significant modifications. Toyota manages to maintain the engine's performance while switching to a completely different fuel source because of its hydrogen combustion process. Unlike gasoline, hydrogen requires different handling and combustion techniques. The engine employs a high-pressure hydrogen direct injection system, which is a significant departure from traditional fuel injection systems. This system allows for precise control of hydrogen delivery into the combustion chamber, optimizing performance and efficiency. Remarkably, the 1.6L engine manages to deliver power and torque figures that are competitive with its gasoline-fueled counterparts. The turbocharger plays a vital role in this, ensuring that the engine delivers the necessary boost for high performance. The challenge with hydrogen is its low density compared to gasoline. This characteristic necessitates a larger volume of hydrogen to achieve the same energy output as gasoline. Toyota's engineers have tackled this challenge head-on, ensuring that the turbocharger and other engine components are optimized for the unique properties of hydrogen fuel. Another intriguing aspect of the engine is its efficiency. Hydrogen combustion engines can potentially achieve higher efficiencies compared to traditional engines, especially in high-load situations. The efficiency gains translate into better fuel economy and, more importantly, a significant reduction in emissions. Since the only byproduct of hydrogen combustion is water vapor, the engine achieves near zero emissions, making it an environmentally friendly option. Intelligence of Toyota cars to add massive value to vehicles. Toyota will sequentially expand the updating of advanced safety technologies, multimedia, and other functions to all vehicles. With a next-generation voice recognition system, Arene will accelerate the shift to car intelligence with quick responses and flexible suggestions that will make the driver feel as though they are talking to a human being. Alongside the evolution of the car's operating system, the next-generation BV will also enable customization of the driving feel, focusing on acceleration, turning, and stopping. In addition, by refining the vehicle's fundamental characteristics with hardware and software, more fun-to-drive models can be delivered. Cars will be connected to infrastructure and towns to provide new services. For example, Toyota will promote the social implementation of logistics systems that use real-time information to improve the efficiency of transportation systems and achieve optimum energy management. Woven City serving as a test course for mobility, will conduct demonstrations that connect people, vehicles, and society. For instance, the work in Woven City will make use of connected services in public logistics to improve issues. By advancing this cycle, Toyota will accelerate the intelligence of society. Toyota is currently developing autonomous driving technology using its long-accumulated safety knowledge and large amounts of data. For example, in automatic parking, the system not only traces a pre-recorded route, but also deals with irregular situations when obstacles are encountered. Toyota's development includes an autonomous, multi-purpose e-pallet vehicle. The company will continue to advance intelligence and aim for zero traffic accidents, freedom of movement for all, and provision of new value in mobility. Water-Powered Engine Initiative of Toyota Cars Toyota's venture into the realm of water-powered engine technology marks a significant leap in the pursuit of sustainable automotive solutions. The idea of an engine powered by water may sound like something from science fiction, but Toyota is turning it into reality. 
The fundamental principle behind this technology is the use of water as a fuel source. As water, known scientifically as H2O, is made up of two hydrogen atoms bonded to one oxygen atom. The key to unlocking the energy potential of water lies in separating these hydrogen atoms from the oxygen atom, a process which can be achieved through electrolysis. Electrolysis involves passing an electric current through water to break it down into its constituent elements, hydrogen and oxygen. In Toyota's water-powered engine, the hydrogen extracted from water is used as fuel in a combustion process similar to that of traditional gasoline engines. However, unlike gasoline, the combustion of hydrogen produces water vapor as the primary byproduct, resulting in an engine that emits no carbon dioxide or harmful pollutants. This makes Toyota's water-powered engine a highly appealing technology in the context of environmental sustainability. Another intriguing aspect of Toyota's water-powered engine initiative is the filing of patents related to this technology. The patent filings indicate Toyota's commitment to developing and protecting this innovative technology, which suggests a serious investment in making water-powered engines a reality. The integration of water-powered engines into vehicles presents numerous challenges, including the development of efficient electrolysis systems, safe hydrogen storage solutions, and engine designs that can handle the unique properties of hydrogen combustion. However, Toyota's track record of innovation and technological breakthroughs suggests that these challenges are not insurmountable. As Toyota forges ahead into the future, its vision for transportation is clear, a world where mobility is sustainable, efficient, and in harmony with the environment. At the core of Toyota's vision is a commitment to sustainability. The development of hydrogen and water-powered engines is a testament to this commitment. Hydrogen, as a fuel source, emits only water vapor when burned, making it an incredibly clean alternative to fossil fuels. The water-powered engine concept, still in its nascent stage, promises an even more radical approach to eco-friendly transportation. The Paris Agreement and other international accords emphasize the need to reduce carbon emissions and combat climate change. Toyota's push towards hydrogen and water-powered technologies aligns perfectly with these objectives, offering tangible solutions to achieve these critical goals. Now let's consider the potential impact on the EV industry. The current landscape of the EV industry is dominated by battery electric vehicles. However, Toyota's hydrogen and water-powered technologies present a new paradigm. Hydrogen vehicles can be refueled quickly, much like traditional gasoline cars, offering a significant advantage over battery EVs in terms of convenience. Furthermore, Toyota's approach diversifies the options available to consumers, challenging the notion that battery EVs are the only path to sustainable transportation. By offering a range of environmentally friendly options, Toyota is not just competing in the EV market, it is expanding the market itself, introducing new concepts that could redefine what it means to drive a sustainable vehicle. By aligning with global environmental goals and challenging the existing paradigms in the EV industry, Toyota is paving the way for a future where transportation is not just about getting from one point to the other, but doing so in a way that is sustainable, efficient, and in harmony with our planet. As these technologies evolve and mature, they hold the potential to disrupt the automotive industry, offering exciting possibilities for the future of mobility. Hidden truths about how Toyota Company strengthens battery capabilities. Toyota accelerates mass production of diverse EV batteries by making PEV a wholly owned subsidiary. Beyond Zero News Release Management Innovation Case Electric Battery Carbon Neutrality, Toyota Motor Corporation TMC has agreed with Panasonic Holdings Corporation Panasonic HD to make Prime Arth EV Energy Co. Limited PEV, a wholly owned subsidiary, in order to strengthen its capabilities in mass producing automotive batteries. The acquisition is scheduled to take place in late March. Among Toyota-affiliated companies currently PEEV, Toyota Industries Corporation, and Prime Planet Energy and Solutions, Inc. Ownership. Toyota, 51%. Panasonic, HD, 49%. Mass Produce Batteries for Hybrid Electric Vehicles, HEVs. With the latter also making batteries for battery electric BEV and plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, PHEVs. Toyota will continue collaborating with these companies in battery mass production and development.
In addition to HEV batteries, PEEV plans to begin producing batteries for BEVs and PHEVs. The company's shift into mass-producing a wide variety of electric vehicle batteries will enable Toyota to respond flexibly to growing battery demand, while also helping to further boost mass production competitiveness. More competitive batteries will enhance the appeal of Toyota's electric vehicle offerings and contribute to achieving carbon neutrality through a multi-pathway approach. Toyota's world-recognized certification to contribute to the expansion of biodiversity conservation areas. As part of the challenge to establish a future society in harmony with nature, Toyota has been collaborating with diverse individuals in society to expand the circle of nature conservation and other activities promoting coexistence with nature from local communities to a global scale. In December 2022, the 15th Conference of the Parties to the Convention on Biological Diversity, COP15 adopted the Kunming Montreal Biodiversity Framework with the common global goal to halt and reverse biodiversity loss to put nature on a recovery track by 2030. To achieve this goal, targets such as 30 by 30 have been established within this framework for each country to conserve 30% or more of their terrestrial and marine areas. According to the Toyota company, they will continue to make the most of the technology and expertise they have accumulated through various businesses, aiming to achieve a sustainable society where humans and nature can coexist. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another of our interesting videos before you leave.